This is an introduction to the basic operation of the production module within the Synergy Radio Playout system. This module deals with the loading of audio into the system and the addition of metadata recognisable by Synergy. It is advisable to study the previous section about the on-air module first. Unlike on-air, this module does not facilitate touchscreen operation. In the previous module about on-air, we used the Radio Studio 2. Today we are using the Radio Studio 1. The only significant difference between the two studios is this one incorporates a standalone CD player, which can be faded up on the control surface. Click near the left of the screen to again bring up the taskbar containing the icons. Click on the production icon. A small window appears asking for a password. The default password to access production is engineer in higher case. We're going to assume we have recorded a piece of audio in the on-air module. And as described in the previous section, we have edited it in Audacity, then saved it to the desktop as a WAV file. We are now going to import that edited file, categorize it, and make it fully playable by the Synergy on-air module. Part of the new production window is another dedicated taskbar down the left-hand side of the screen. The heading at the top of this taskbar is Files, with the icon of a folder. Immediately below are the options Import and Export. Further towards the bottom are tabs marked Record, Library, Exchange and Program. For basic operation, only Record and Import are used. And at the end of your session, Program is used for closing the module. Even though we are not going to actually record anything at this time, click on the Record tab, and the options of Recorder and CD Ripping appear. Click on CD Ripping, and two new tabs appear in the main window. The default tab, highlighted in yellow, is Target Folder. Do not at this point select the other CD Ripper tab. Immediately below the two tab titles, the default address has appeared. We are looking for that WAV file, which, earlier in the on-air section, we exported to the desktop from Audacity. So we need to change that default address. To do this, click on the folder icon to the far right of the address strip. A small operating system window appears. Find Desktop. On the displayed tree, select it and press OK. The address line has now changed to represent the desktop and the main window below now contains the WAV file we're looking for, in this case labelled Test. Click inside the small white box to the left of the file. Click on the oblong yellow button towards the bottom right of the screen labelled Add to Import List. A progress bar appears and disappears when completed. If you're dealing with a small file, this will happen in a split second. For the time being, the WAV file remains in the main window. In the main production taskbar, to the left of the screen, click on the Files icon at the top, then click on the Import option. The file now appears, still as a WAV, but in a new main window. Click on the file to highlight it. You will notice that the yellow import button at bottom left of the main file window is greyed out. This will change when we have dealt with the settings options, which have appeared within the bottom third of the screen. The seven tabs here are labelled Files, Sound Properties, Q Edit, Commercials, Jingles, Music and News. In all cases, select Sound Properties first. Various options then appear. You must give it a library category. In this case, I'll call it News Item. You must, if you're sure it's fit to broadcast, select Ready in the Broadcast Status Options. It's a good idea to set the language. And in this case, the Media Master is a recording. Notice there is a tick box underneath these option boxes to enable the deletion of the source file when import is complete. Notice also a small window bottom left confirms the file will be transcoded to MP2 at 256 kilobits per second.
It's not imperative, but clicking on the main news tab gives the opportunity to add various metadata and change the name of the file. Commercials and jingles are dealt with in an identical way. Ripping from CD and dealing with music, which can incorporate the Q-Edit tab, will be dealt with shortly. Meanwhile, click on the yellow Import button to the bottom left of the main file window, which is no longer greyed out. A smaller window appears in the middle of the screen containing various progress bars. The window disappears when complete. The news item is now categorised and ready to play in the on-air module.